Hello, in this video you will learn how to install and configure Reality Hub on your computer. I'm assuming that you're familiar with the Zero Density Reality Virtual Studio and Unreal. If you are not, I would suggest you to spend some time with the documentation of the Reality Engine and Editor. Now, let's go ahead and see how we can install the Reality Hub server. Double click on the installer and run it. Here is the installation window. I'm gonna click next. Here is the destination folder the application is gonna be installed. You're able to choose a different location than the default. On the next page, the installer asks me a couple of initial information like the IP address and the port number that the Reality Hub will serve the user interface. Reality Hub outputs its logs in real time to a local multicast IP address. This will allow you to capture logs using a log monitor to investigate the issues. I suggest you to choose a different port number than the default here, so your installation will have its dedicated logging port. You can choose the level of the details of the logs. 5 means the most detailed logging and 1 is the least. I'm gonna click next. If this is the first installation of the Reality Hub, the installer will also install the database server. In this page, I'm gonna tell which IP address the database will listen on and the port number. I'm gonna leave the defaults here. Here, I will choose the name of the database that the Reality Hub will use to store its data, the username to access to that database and the password. Click next. As I'm installing the database for the first time, I'm gonna set up the root account. The installer will use the root account to create the database and the Reality Hub user. I'm also able to choose the storage location for the data. And that's all I will need to tell the installer during the installation. I'm gonna click next and wait for it to finish. It will just take a minute or two to complete. And we're done. Let's check if I can access to the system. Open up the web browser and enter the IP address and port we've defined at the beginning of the installation. Now it is running and asking for my credentials to start using it. I'm gonna enter the administrator username and its password. I'm gonna click login. Now I'm entered the system. Let's take a quick look at the different modules that we will see each one of them in detail later. Playout module will serve the main operator control interface. It will be used to control all of the Virtual Studio, graphics and data workflow during the show. Newsroom has a similar interface, but it will run in sync with the Newsroom control system. Node Graph Editor is a node-based configuration tool that you will be able to connect to the running engines and create your workflow. This model also allows you to create operator user interfaces to be run using Playout and create the actions. Using Launcher module, you can configure the engines, the projects, maps and our graphs will be loaded on those engines with a single click. Let's start with the initial configuration. The first thing I need to do here is that to create an engine host and an instance. Let me quickly explain what is the engine host and instance. Engine host is a physical platform that the reality project will run on. Instance is the reality process will be created on that host. Host can be the same computer the hub server is running on if the hardware is capable of running the both. Anyway, I need to get the host name of the engine host, so I will open up a terminal window on the host and type host name. I'm gonna copy the host name. Let's go back to the configuration and go ahead and click on add host button right here. Paste the host name in the text box and click OK. I have a host entry now. Let's open up that entry on the left side to create an instance. I'm gonna click the add instance button and give the new instance a name. Here you can see two more fields with some default information. First field points to the editor path. Make sure it is pointing to the correct location of your Reality Editor installation. Next one is the same for the engine. Now I have a host entry and an instance. It's not running yet. Once I make a launch configuration with it, it will be able to run it. But before that, I will need to have the Reality Loader running on the host. We will see it later. Let's continue to register our project folder. Here we will call it Shared Folder. Let's click on the project 
and shared folders. I'm going to do the same and create an entry here. I'm going to give my project location a name. It's UNCPA, the username and the password. An important note here is that the path should point to a shared folder even if that's on a local computer. Make sure that the user has access to the shared folder. Click OK. Reality Hub will ask if you want to have that folder scanned for the projects. You can do it now or later whenever you want to rescan the folder. I'm going to click yes here. Good. All the projects in that folder are scanned. Let's take a look. I'm going to click all projects and check the projects are there and their maps are registered as well. The last thing I will show you here in the configuration section is the R graphs. Your R graphs will be stored in the Reality Hub database. If you want to import your R graph files, this place will help you. I'm going to import an example R graph file here. In this section, you will learn how to create a launch configuration and start it. Let's click on the launch tab. I'm going to click the create button, give it a name and click OK. Next, I will need to create a renderer. A renderer represents an engine instance, a project that will be loaded by that instance, the map an R graph file that will be loaded when the project is running. I'm going to go ahead and create a renderer. I will give it a name and click OK. Now I need to choose the engine instance. I have only one instance created, selecting that one. The project. I'll choose my example. Its map here. And the R graph. My launch configuration now almost ready to be launched. One step left, which is to install and run the reality loader on the host. That will be the same machine as I've created my host entry to point to the same computer. To install the reality loader, I'll go back to the configuration page. On the global configuration section, there is a download link to the reality loader installation. Please remember that the reality loader has to be installed on the engine host. If you have your separate engine host, you will need to run the reality loader on that computer. I'm going to download and run the installer. The installer will ask the reality hub, IP address and loader port. This port is different than we are using for the web servers. It's called loader port and fixed to 6000. I'm going to enter the same login configuration here. It will be run automatically when the installation finishes. Let's keep it running. When we go back to the launcher, the status icon of the launch configuration and renderer becomes white. It means the host is connected to the hub and it's ready for the launch. You also will notice the performance gauges are started displaying information from the host. I can now click on the launch button. If the project is not cached in the host, it will cache it. If it's already cached, the Reality Hub will just check if there is any difference between the original project content and the cache and resynchronize them if needed. First launch may take a little longer depending on the size of your project because of the initial caching. Also, if this is the first run of this project, Reality Engine would take some more time to compile the shaders. In the status section, orange color means the caching is done and the reality engine is started loading the project. Once everything is ready, the status icon will turn to green. Ok, now I can go to node graph editor and check the project. 